You know what's great? Post Halloween candy sale. Mmm, diabetes. So good. Uh, it's raining in my creative world, and uh, I promised I was going to show you guys how to make a iron golem invisible pressure plate kind of thing. And so here we go, real fast. It's going to be a really quick video to demonstrate how this works. First thing you need is a two by two hole in the ground. Two by two by two, in fact. Boom, 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 boom. You can dig down, you can build up, however you like. Uh, on one of the corners, you need to put a trapdoor. And the trapdoor is going to nudge the iron golem just slightly up in order to move its hitbox. Speaking of iron golem, here he is. And we just shove him into the hole, no problem. In order to put him into the correct spot, I'm going to put a water on the opposite corner of the, of the uh, trapdoor. And then we need to put a fence post on that same corner as the water. Now you can't just simply, you cannot put this into the corner. You actually have to use a piston to push it in. It's very important that you do so. Just so the water flows correctly around uh, the iron golem. <clears throat> okay, so once you push that in, you can put in the rails in here and you just power them up however you like. Put a solid block on the other end so that the cart will bounce right back in. And this is your output right here. That's basically the gist of the build. Right? If we nudge him, he's going to move over hit the cart. Nudge him just a little bit. Come on, come on. There you go. And he'll push the cart for us. It'll light up the output. So that is that part. In order to hide the golem, we're going to use half slabs. And uh, you can use any kind of half slabs. These ones are okay. Uh, these ones you can hide amongst the stone. There is also wooden half slabs. There's stone brick half slabs. And a lot of people like to build out of stone brick. So this is actually going to be really useful. We'll use these ones to do our thing. Oops, he glitched. There you go. And what you're going to do, you can't just put the half slabs on top of him. That doesn't work. So we actually have to put it above him. And we're going to use pistons to push it down. I can't even put them up here. That's how glitched he is. He's actually covering a lot of space. So we're going to put them up here. And I'm going to put the pistons right here. Oops. Now, of course, the half slabs have to be um, as if there have to be the top half slabs. They can't be the bottom half slabs. Uh, that's just the way it has to work. And we'll use the pistons to push it down. And because they're half slabs, then the iron golem will actually be able to breathe through them. There you go. Still can't place these ones down. Oh, I almost placed that one down. <laughs> so do the other side now. Same thing. And it would just destroy all the evidence. And that floor here looks pretty fine to me. You can... So then this will be your floor essentially. Oops. Any ones that you can't place down, you can always just use the pistons to push down. And the Iron Golem is fine and well. He's breathing. He's not getting hurt. And if we walk across, you can see that... It, hits, it lights up the pressure plate. And of course, it's only one direction. It's like a diode kind of thing. If you go the other way, well, it works as well because uh, you eventually will nudge him. But it works best from going in one direction in particular, just so you're pushing him in the, direct, in the correct position. And you can see his head actually peeks out. So that is how you guys do it. That is the invisible pressure plate. And uh, you guys can see a use of that at Jasmine's Hanging Garden. Uh, I will put a link to that video below. You can see how I did that. And uh, I used a couple of latches and other things in order to make it more hidden, more secure, uh, more tricky secret entrance to a person's base. But that's that completely hidden, completely invisible uh, trap. You can make traps out of it as well. 
Okay. If you enjoyed the video, guys, do subscribe. Uh, hit me up with a like. And as always, I love comments. If you do nothing else, if you do nothing else, just post a comment because I love reading comments and I don't get enough of those uh, for sure. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.